In this lecture, we will discuss about how to model with equations and how to solve word problems. Okay, we can start with example one. You may want to start reading the problem by yourself and pause the video. Okay, so Phil is invested $12,000. A portion earning a simple interest rate of 4.5% per year so and the rest earning at a rate of 4% per year so she invested the money at rate 4.5% and the other one at rate four percent. Okay. Since we don't know the amount of money, we call it X, and the amount of money that's invested at interest rate four percent, say Y. Okay. And because the total amount of money is twelve thousand dollar, then we must have X plus Y equals twelve thousand. like that. Okay. After one year, the total interest earned on this investment was 525. So the interest earned is coming from this plan and that plan. So the interest earned from this X dollar will be 4.5% from this amount of money and the interest earned from the money that she invested at the rate of 4% is 4% from Y which is 0.04 Y and the total of the interest earned was 525 okay, so now we want to find what are x and y, what x and i are. Okay. So now we have a difficulty here because we have only one equation with two variables. If we can solve for x, then the other still contain y. If we solve for y, then the other term has still contain x. So to avoid that, then we use this information. Since the sum of x and y is 12,000, then we can, for example, solve for y to get y equals 12,000 minus x. And we can substitute this over here. Okay, so we have 0.045x plus 4% of y, but now y is 12,000 minus x. must be equal to 525. Okay, let's simplify. Uh, this would be 0 0.04 plus this number times that will be 480 minus 0 0.040x equals 525 now we don't want this number because this number has no x on it so we move this to the other side and we can simplify I'm sorry again it should be with x we can simplify this minus that so this term minus that term is equal to 0 0.005x and on the right hand side we have 525 minus 480 which is 45. Therefore, x is 45 divided by 0 0.005, which is equal to 9000. Okay.
remember that we are looking for x and y. So now we solve this for x, then to find y, we just need to substitute this x equal to 9000 here. Okay. So therefore, y is equal to 12,000 minus 9,000, which is 3,000. Okay, so the solution is she invested 9,000 at rate 4.5% and $3,000 at rate 4%. Okay, next problem is about geometrical problem. Find the length x, so here the length of this side and that side are the same, which is which are x. So find the length x in the figure if the total area is 144 centimeters square. Okay, now notice that we can divide this area into the sum of two rectangles. Okay, so the area, so here the area is given equal to 144. But on the other hand, on the other hand, the area is equal to the area of that rectangle plus the area of this rectangle. So what is the area of this rectangle? So the area of this rectangle will be 10 times x, 10x, and the area of this the smaller one will be 6 times x, and we can simplify this into 16x. So the area is 16x and at the same time the area is 144. Therefore 16x must be equal to 144. Dividing both sides by 16 we have x equals 144 divided by 16 which is equal to So 144 divided by 16 is 9. So therefore x is equal to 9. Okay, the next problem. And okay, this is a long problem and you might want to read the problem first by yourself. Okay, so you can pause the video and try to understand the problem by yourself. Okay, now let us go over the problem together. So, a car ha has a radiator filled with solution 